tell you, I love fabric. I love fabric and I love fiber. And I've been around it all of my life. And family members have created everything from hats to, to very fine buttonholes, to sculpture, to carpeting, etc. And so I know about repeat patterns, I know about texture, and it's, it's just been a love of mine. And it infected me. And for many years, I wanted to do something different with fabric. I didn't want to sew it. I, I did that, and I didn't want to quilt it. And I decided I was going to figure something out. And so I have been cutting it, and I came up with this idea of, of putting it in equal strips, depending upon the thickness of the fabric. And I started knotting it. And I have pretty much fine-tuned my, my knots, as they call it. And that's why I call it Enjoy the Knots. It, the fabric creates a different feeling than if it's flat. And it creates something of more texture and depth and beauty. Everyone who comes up to my pieces, the first thing they want to do is touch it. But it's, it's mostly to be viewed. And um, the fibers are, that I use are anything from velvet to organza to cotton to upholstery fabric, depending upon what it is that I want to capture. And I have been trying to use, uh, as in this piece behind me, some natural uh, pieces um, like bamboo or I can put wood in it. And I've been trying to stretch the viewer's imagination with what I am trying to create. And I, I love doing these knots. And um, I, I, st I had started doing a, a project and I completed it. And after I did it and I, I called it my first knots, it was a very simple um, uh, picture. I thought, well, I really need to get a whole backing of, of, of knots. So I probably spent over a year <laughs> cutting fabric. And so I would have like a palette to work from. And that's what I have done, basically. It's a complete departure from my being a graphic artist and um, doing commercial art and doing watercolor, which I still do today. But I, I love fabric, and I like how it feels in a room, because it, it gives you more depth and texture, and it is not necessarily behind glass, as my pieces are. So that's, that's what I do. It's called Enjoy the Knots, and I want to create something that's, that's beautiful and to make people feel good when they look at it. Another thing that I also do if I, if I do a commission job is I'll take a, um, a fabric that someone had that they have nothing to do with, or if it's part of their drapery or part of their um, sofa, something, or they're redecorating, and I can incorporate that. And it brings up the color, and it creates a wonderful room, and it creates a wonderful environment. And, and that gives me a, a great deal of pleasure to do that. As you can see in my other three pieces that are in this show with the Wilmet Art Guild, I, the knots in there are more repetitive than in the piece behind me. And when I would work on, the, on these knots, in order to, cre to create the, the palette and the volume of all these knots, what I have done is uh, I, I'll cut up fabric and take it with me wherever I go. It's the one thing if I'm in, in a car traveling someplace or if I'm seeing my, uh, a concert or something, I can take, take a piece out and I can, I can do it at this point without even looking at it. And I, I utilize my time, which, which I love doing. And I love coming up with the, um, with the pieces when I'm finished with them, with all the knots. And then I gather them. And I'm very careful to keep them separate until, until they're utilized. Uh, I had gotten a commission from a mother. Uh, the the, her, her daughter wanted to keep a, 
a small dress and she said you'll never fit into it because it was for a toddler so the daughter said okay they sent me the dress so I would incorporate it into a piece specifically for her and uh, I remember calling her I said uh, Sarah I'm ready to do it so she said it's okay and it came out in all the colors that she loved and in the size that she wanted and it was a win-win situation for the mother and for the daughter as she redecorated her room as a young adult and this is as I said it's a it's a wonderful thing to do and I also love going into uh, fabric stores into upholstery stores and finding something unique and each piece that I do is one of a kind because I'll never get this fabric again. Where do you see your, what do you see yourself working on in 10 years? Oh gosh, uh, I, I hope to be doing bigger pieces and pieces inside of uh, you know lobbies and uh, larger commission jobs because people have walls that are just aching for something large, meaningful, and with something that perhaps is important to them or the colors that they choose. So that's, that's one, one of my goals.